Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a new video to make about three weeks ago of a new piece of equipment I bought. And uh, I started filming it and my phone died and then uh, I started mowing hay and baling hay every day after that. So I hadn't got a chance until now uh, to remake the video. So uh, when I got it, it was brand new, it had zero hours on it and I've put 12 hours on it now, so it's seen a little bit of use, and I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of review on it and uh, show you guys what I got. So here we have a brand new 2019 Xmark Laser Z E-Series mower, zero turn. It's got the uh, suspension platform on it. It's a uh, 60 inch cut. Um, it's official. It's got the logo on it right there. Solid semi pneumatic tires on the front so they don't take air. It's got the uh, Kawasaki. Uh, so this is the uh, suspension thing. Uh, if you're going to be mowing a lot of yards that are rough, this is the way to go. It's a thousand dollars more. Uh, than the one without it, but it's well worth the money, especially if you have rough yards. So number one down here is the smoothest ride and then number five is the stiffest. So you just flip this down and you grab a hold of the shot and then you can just move it to whatever you like. I like mine on one, so I think it rides the best for me. So I leave it there, but Pretty much everything, nothing is really different from much of the uh, year models in back. Um, one thing I do like about the suspension platform that the other ones didn't have is that the seat will fold up. So you can get down here um, to these pumps better without having to remove the seat. And of course they got the uh, hour service meter over there the parking brake they've made a little bit better versus the old spring but i think it's this way because of the suspension platform i didn't look at the new 19s without them but that's a little bit smoother uh, to use they've put some plastic washers and and stuff in there to make it uh, not as bind much you know, still the same uh series four deck Got the uh, quick release, the seat, they've changed the seat a bit. This one's got the uh, padded armrest, and they've made the back more of a, a black color now. And the seat's really comfortable. It's got these uh, ISO mounts on all four corners so it can move side to side. And also you can adjust these armrests based on how high you want them. Uh, by turning that it's different sizes on each side and it's got uh, under here is the shock on the front so I'll step on it so it's really smooth um, especially going over rough ground you know this is this whole seat platform is up off the the mower itself so it's not not uh, riding on it on any point except for where the shocks are in the back and uh, the shock in the front. So you can lift up and get to your pulleys down there. So now they've added this little rubber mat. Kind of helps keep down some of the vibration for when you're mowing. And I really like this stuff they put on here because if you're mowing some wet grass and this gets a little damp and you go to step on it, I've slipped off of it before and had my foot slide off and hit my shin on it and that really hurts. So really like that. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, this is a little bit different just because of the suspension platform, but it's still super easy to lift. You got your quarter inch increments over here for adjusting the deck and then transport position. You can 
and lock it up. And then to unlock it, drop it down. And it's locked. Same this play over here. I'm going to show you guys mowing in tall fescue Bermuda mix grass. This is out in our uh, horse pasture. I'll show you how well it does. I'm going to be cutting with the deck on four inches. So let's see how it does. Now I'm going to drop it down to the lowest it'll go and see how it does in this tall grass. cut on a number one as you can tell I had to go pretty slow but overall it did a good job cutting it and I don't think you'd have to recut that twice if you were to go slow cutting it but uh, when I cut that up there on number four I went a little bit faster and it made a little bit of longer uh, grass stick up uh, when the tires rolled over it so you'll probably have to end up and cut that twice so now I'm going to try cutting over here on uh, number three and see how it does. number three and I think that cut much better than uh, number four and I don't see much sticking up there's a little bit down there at the end where it got really thick grass but overall I think it does a pretty good job and also I lifted the mower deck shoot up mowing that and I left it down over there so I bunched the grass up a little bit more when I was mowing mm -hmm. 